the present wrapping machines. That's the last of this year's presents wrapped. Time for a holiday. Hurrah! Uh, we've just brought one more box of toys to wrap. Sorry to end your holiday. That's okay. Arctic elves love wrapping presents. And we are... Oh, no! Arctic elves! We've brought you toy robots, dolls, space rockets and cars. Not bad. You've done a good job, brother. Oh, thank you, brother. When the presents are wrapped up, who delivers them? Ho, ho, ho! I deliver them, of course. Father Christmas! Call me Santa. I hear you're in a spot of bother. Yes, we need some help getting home. I've got some work to do tonight. I could drop you off on the way. Are you going our way? I'm going every way. Yay! <laughs> I say, that penguin's a long way from home. I'd better drop him off, too. Ho, ho, ho! Away we go! Have you got a present for our friend Lucy? Lucy? She's a little girl we know. Of course there's a present for her. Why do people always have such small chimneys? We could deliver the presents for you. All right. Put these presents in Lucy's Christmas stocking. Don't forget the tangerine. <gasps> Someone's coming! Keep still! Pretend to be a statue! That's odd. Some of the decorations have fallen off the tree. Bean Thistle wrapped in a Christmas present. Let me out! I'm the queen! King Thistle trapped in a Christmas cracker. I'm the king! Get me out of here! And the wise old elf is stuck in a Christmas tree. Up for sale in a shop. How undignified. And there's big people everywhere. Wow! Look at all those big people. Shh! We must keep quiet. No problem. Pine elves are good at keeping quiet. And we're pine elves! Shh! Stay hidden. Nanny, lots of the grown-ups seem to be missing. King Thistle, Queen Thistle, all the Pine Elves. And the wise old elf. Yes, it's not good. <coughs> Hello? It's me, the wise old elf. Why are you whispering? Listen carefully. It's Christmas Eve. And tonight, Father Christmas will be delivering presents to the children of the world. It's my job to track him. Every year, I follow Father Christmas's journey and make sure he is OK. But this time, I seem to be a bit, um, stuck. So, someone else is going to have to do the tracking. Someone responsible. Me! I'll do it! Me! Me! OK, Danny Plum, but don't mess it up. Ah! <gasps> Big people! Walk in this way! I'm really looking forward to a quiet family Christmas with no talk of fairies and elves. OK, Dad. Ooh, I like this Christmas tree. Yes, Lucy. Let's get that one. And we'll need some Christmas crackers. Oof! Let me out of this Christmas cracker! Let me out! Hello, Mum. I've got a present for you. Mrs Witch had a spring clean and she threw this out. A lamp. Isn't it nice? Oh, lovely. Very brassy. I'll just give it a polish. 
I am the genie of the lamp. Oh, he's very manly. Yeah. <laughs> I will grant you three wishes. What should we wish for? Why don't you dance for us? <laughs> Your wish is my command. <laughs> I wish for loud music. Very well. <laughs> I wish we had a big party with all of us dancing. That is your third and final wish. Uh, I can't stop. Uh, neither can I. No more dancing. Stop it now. But you have used up your three wishes. Bye-bye. Oh, no. I don't want to dance forever. Let's go and see King Thistle. He can sort it out. How are you doing in there, darling? I'm hungry. I'm ready. Mummy, you look super. Uh, yes, you look lovely. Right, let's go eat. I'll just ask the mirror what it thinks. Mirror, mirror, on the wall. How does my hair look now? Honestly, not good. Oh, dear. I don't know what to do. Let me help. I am a magic mirror, after all. Oh! There you go. Sorted. That's horrid. Change my hair back. No, it looks great. King Vessel, do something. Nobody will notice your hair. Come on, let's go to dinner. No, no. I can't go out like this. <laughs> <sighs> I'm going to get a snack. Here's your present. <laughs> it's a squeaky toy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I'm sorry. Do you have an invitation? I don't need one. I'm King Thistle. King Thistle. King Thistle. No, your name's not on here. What? But it's my party. No, it's not, mate. It's Gaston the Ladybird's party. What? Take it easy, fella. It's supposed to be a happy occasion. It's all right. He's with us. What's going on? Where's my birthday party? You said you didn't want a party. I know I said that, but what I really meant was I do want a party. Oh, Daddy. You are silly. Yes, I know. Oh, well, I'm sure Gaston won't mind sharing his party with you. <coughs> Gaston, be nice and share your present with King Thistle. <coughs> Gaston, that's not how to behave on your birthday. <coughs> For me? How kind. <coughs> it's a squeaky toy. <coughs> yes, for you to chase. And now it's time for the birthday song. He's round and he's red with big black spots. How dare they? It's about Gaston, Daddy. He rolls on his back and he barks a lot. He's Gaston the ladybird. That was really fun. Maybe birthday parties aren't that bad. What's that noise? Happy birthday! Ah! Yay! Hooray! Happy birthday, Daddy. Oh, oh, thank you, Holly. Here's your present. Wow! A space mobile! We made it ourselves. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. Thanks, Dad. And later, all your friends will be coming to your birthday party. Cool. Who can that be? Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. You're a bit early for my party. A uh, party? Have you brought me a birthday card? A uh, birthday card? Holly, you haven't forgotten my birthday, have you? Oh, uh... uh... Happy birthday, Ben. <laughs> Thanks, Holly. Uh, I've just got to pop back home for something. Oh, see you later. <gasps> oh, dear, oh, dear. I've forgotten Ben's birthday. <laughs> Milk, sugar, flour and an egg. 
Good, let's do some baking. Hocus Pocus. Nanny Plum, Nanny Plum. <laughs> I've forgotten Ben's birthday. Oh, don't worry, my little one. He'll have another birthday next year. No, no, it's really important. I have to do something for this birthday. Ben is my best friend. Oh. I've got to make a birthday card really quickly, but I don't know where to start. What you need is a little magic to get you going. Ahem. Milk, flour, egg and sugar, paint, brushes, card and glitter. <laughs> Thanks, Nanny. Now, I've got a very nice spell for making birthday cards. It goes... Hocus Pocus Plinkety Plonk. Nanny Plum! Oh, I better go and see what King Thistle wants. And here's a present. It's not a birthday present, is it? No, King Thistle. Are you sure? Sure. A toy robot. Thank you, Ben. I made it myself. And here's your cake. It's not a birthday cake, is it? Absolutely not. This is just an ordinary cake. The taste is completely different. Oh, good. <laughs> Delicious. Hmm. <laughs> Cards, presents, cake. And this is nothing to do with my birthday? No. no. Well, I suppose it's not really a birthday then. As long as the elf band doesn't turn up. There's one more surprise, Daddy. Oh, I love surprises. You have to close your eyes. OK. You can open your eyes now. Surprise! I said no birthday party! It's not a birthday party, darling. It's just a surprise party. Oh, well then, I suppose... Happy birthday! <gasps> I mean congratulations, Your Majesty, on being such an excellent king. Well done! Oh, thank you! And now for the giant firework. It's as big as a carrot. Ooh. Ah. 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 I love fireworks. And now, Your Majesty, the elf band will sing a special song in your honour. Oompa, oompa, old King Thistle is a very old king and he's one year older today. Old King Thistle, he's old and grey. Happy, happy, happy birthday. So if no-one wants this treasure, can I have it? Yes, yes, take it. Silence, please, everyone. Now, we are gathered here to discuss the dwarf problem. They're making loud bangs. They're digging holes everywhere. They've dug up my carrots. Yes, yes, we all know how annoying they can be. Can't you magic them away? No, fairy magic doesn't work on dwarves. I know how to get rid of the dwarves. We take all this treasure... Oh. Sneak into the mine and bury the treasure deep down. Oh, and then the dwarves will dig it up. And they'll be happy and stop digging. Correct. Excellent plan. All right, Nanny Plum's in charge. Off you go. But it's my plan. OK, you can both be in charge. Thank you, Your Majesty. But I'm in charge, really. We need to bury the treasure deep down in the mine. But how do we get inside? The train! Clever Ben! Wait for me! Dwarf mine, here we come! <laughs> wow! How deep is the mine? Deep, very deep. Hold tight, everyone. Oh, no! Wow! Dig, dig, dig. Dig, dig, dig.
dig in our dwarf mine oh so old. We dig for diamonds, we dig for gold. Dig, 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 dig. How can we hide the treasure with all the dwarves around? I know. I'm good at voices. This is the dwarf boss. Come on, lads. Let's go, go, go. Well, haven't you had an adventure coming to find me? Yes, it's been fun. And that's what being an elf pirate is all about. Having fun. <laughs> now, all you have to do is untangle me and we can get away from this dangerous jungle. Oh, this isn't a jungle. And there is no danger. Whoa! Hang on! Tight. Hello, I'm a customer and I would like to buy this plant. Find everything you're looking for today? Yes, thank you. Do the toys come free with the plant? Uh, oh, I suppose so. One pot plant with toys. And one magic goblin. I am not magic. One talking magic goblin. Oh, no barcodes. I put it through as compost. Oh, thank you. Magic goblin? Compost? How dare she? We've got to get free. Come on, everyone into the airship. That's it. Let's go. Anchors away. <laughs> uh, hello, Mrs. Customer. Hello? Don't tell anyone you've been seeing elves and fairies. No. Oh. Up, up yeah. and away! Ha <laughs> ha wise old elf. Looks like I'm rescuing you from the jungle. From the garden centre, you mean? Ah, my sweet sugar plum. I brought you a present from my adventures. A tomato? Is it a tomato? Or is it a mysterious red berry from the darkest depths of the lost city? Use your imagination. It's a tomato. Set sail for the little kingdom. Home we go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hello, I'm yes, Lord your Lord. Majesty. Hello, your Majesty. Um, it's so sweet. Oh, what's this? Whatever. These are rather good. Are we making them? They're just a one-off. Uh, of ten. But they seem to be rather popular. Indeed. Perhaps we should make more. <laughs> da 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 da. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm Dolly Plum. <laughs> Dolly Plum. Careful with that, Daisy. It's the only dolly of its kind in the world. Dolly Plum. My Dolly Plum. Oh, it seems that there are two of them. <laughs> hmm. I'm going to have a word with that wise old elf. <laughs> ah, Nanny Plum. Don't you Nanny Plum me. I said make only one dolly and you've made two. Uh, yes. Sorry, Nanny Plum. Yes, well, don't let it happen again. Uh, righto. <gasps> He's made loads of them! He's lots of fun. <gasps> this is outrageous! Right! Wise old elf! Wise old elf! Where are you? <laughs> Just how many of these things have you made? <gasps> There's hundreds! Uh, thousands, actually. I don't believe it! But they are very popular. Let me show you one in its gift box. Gift box? Ooh, Dolly Plum. Daisy, Poppy, don't you even think about... Ah! <laughs> Daisy, Poppy. Here we are. Oh, where's Nanny gone? Daisy, Poppy, turn me back at once. Hello, have you fallen off the production line? No, no, it's me. I'm not a toy. I'm Nanny Plum. not the king today. I'm just a humble factory worker like you lot. But we need a king to inspect the toys. OK, I'll be king for a second. <coughs> it's perfect. Right, now I'm just a humble factory worker again. What do I do? 
Press this button and out comes the gloop. What about something a bit more interesting? Making the toys? Uh, no, Your Majesty. The painting? Perhaps not. The packing? No. Today you are the gloop elf. Very good, Daddy. I think I'm really getting the hang of this. All right! How are you getting on, Your Majesty? <laughs> Perhaps you're not suited to factory work, Your Majesty. What was the last job on the list? Working on the farm, Daddy. The King has arrived to start our harvest dance! Hooray! I'm not the King today. I'm here to do farm work. But it's our holiday. Not when there's work to be done. You heard the king. Back to work. <gasps> Righto, what do I do? This pumpkin needs watering, so it'll grow nice and big. It's not growing. It takes a long time, King Thistle. Weeks and weeks. Hmm. Let's speed it up with a little magic. No, Daddy. That'll help it grow. Wow! That's a big pumpkin! It's still growing! It's not going to stop! Ah! The pumpkin's going to explode! He starts with the toy factory. Hello, everyone. I'm the wise old owl. Don't worry. It's just for today. Oh, I see. Um, well, wise old elf, the gloop machine is broken. Can you fix it? No problemo. Time for a bit of magic. My ears are wiggling. Nanny is doing magic. Hello? No magic! All right. Keep your hair on. Nanny, you're the wise old elf today, remember? Oh, yes. How would he fix the gloop machine? He'd probably just kick it. OK. The packaging machine isn't working. Do you want me to kick it? Yes, please, wise old elf. The paint machine needs fixing. Oh, my foot's beginning to ache. Ah, wise old elf. I'm Nanny Plum today, Your Majesty. Do you have Nanny's list of jobs? List of jobs? I don't think she has one. Nanny isn't one for lists. Why not start by washing my socks? All right, let's go down to the washing room. Oh, these stairs are going up. But a moment ago, they went down. Yes, it's magic. The stairs change all the time. The rooms get bored, so they move around. The toilet was on the roof once. Yes, that was fun. But how do I get down to the kitchen? You ask the stairs to go down. Stairs go down. You have to say the magic word. What magic word? Abracadabra? No, please. Oh, please go down. Thank you. Right, let's get these dirty clothes into the washing machine. How do I turn it on? It's a magic washing machine. You have to talk to it. OK. Washing machine, wash the clothes. Say the magic word. Oh, please. No, abracadabra. Oh, abracadabra. No ones? Oh, of course. Mummy and Daddy knew best and took your wands away. Never mind. Here's mine. Wandy. Say... Thunder, thunder, thunder. Thunder, thunder, thunder. <laughs> That's it. I wonder if that had something to do with Granny. Hello, is Holly coming out to play? Hello, Ben. She'll be down in a minute. 
Did you hear the storm last night? Hear it? It was in our bedroom. A storm in a bedroom? Cool. It was a magical storm. Good morning, Mother. I already know the answer to this, but who showed them how to make a magical storm? Me. What a surprise. Only a little indoor weather, darling. Nothing to worry about. What else did you teach them? Oh, just a few harmless little spells. Hi, everyone. Hello, Holly. Morning, Ben. Ah, why are there two Hollies? Daisy and Poppy did a spell on me. We asked them not to, but they did it anyway. This is what happens when Daisy and Poppy do magic. So, it's a little doubling spell. No harm done. It's not like there's ten Hollies. Morning. 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 And if there were, wouldn't that be nice? Wandy, Wandy. Where did they get the wand from? Oh, it seems to be my wand. Bye-bye. <laughs> They've disappeared. The twins have escaped. <laughs> They're out in the wild. I hear them and I've no time to hide. Pretend to be a toy. Okie dokie. I'm a toy! Here's the lake. I found a toy boat. There's a doll on it. Oh, that's Redbeard. Who's Redbeard? I mean, uh, the doll's got a red beard. Some poor child must have lost it. Let's put it here where they'll find it. Miss Cookie, I found a tadpole. Lovely. Tick tadpoles off your list. Tadpoles! And that's the end of today's nature trail. Come on, children, back to school. Yes, Miss Cookie. Well done, Redbeard. They never suspected a thing. It was a close call and no mistake. They've been all over the Little Kingdom now, but we haven't been discovered. Yes, well done, everyone. The big people have no idea us little people live here. They didn't see the great elf tree or the little castle. And they didn't find out Mrs Witch is a witch. All I can say is it's a good thing they didn't bump into the gnome. Dumpty Dumpty Doo Da. Ah! The gnome! Dumpty Dumpty Doo Da. Hello. Evening all. Hello. Are you going to a fancy dress party? Party? Is there party food there? I like food. Uh, we're just on a nature trail. Oh, yes. What have you seen on this nature trail? We've seen toadstools and insects and tadpoles. Toadstools, insects, tadpoles? But there's loads more stuff. Really? There's the elves and the fairies. The what? That blabbermouth is giving everything away. How can we stop him? I know. Come on, Gaston. Yes, the elves live in a tree. An oak tree? Yes, it's got tiny windows in it. The doctor says you have to put Wandy to bed and he'll be right over. Oh, Wandy! The wand doctor is here. Hello. But that's just the wise old elf. I'll have you know I'm not just the wise old elf. I'm also a fully qualified wand doctor. Oh, I see. We elves make the wands, remember? Yes, why is that? You hate magic. We make wands, but we don't use them. Magic always leads to trouble. Now, where is my patient? Here. Achoo! Ah, that's loud. <laughs> Tongue out, please. As I thought, a cold. I suggest plenty of rest. The wand needs to stay in bed and keep nice and warm. Will Wandy be able to do magic? Oh, no, no, no. There'll be no waving Wandy around for a while. Oh, what'll I do without a wand? Funny you should ask. I've been working on a brand new wand. Maybe you'd like to try it out. Wow! It's been top secret until now. I call it the Wise Wand 3000. Even I didn't know about it. 
gosh! Thanks, wise old elf. It's so pretty. You're my best friend. Ooh! And it talks. I love you. Incredible. Amazing. That's not all. This wand has a very special feature no other wand has. What special feature? Oh, you'll find out soon enough. I have to say, wands don't get any better than this. What did he mean by that? What does he ever mean? I always lose interest halfway through. I can't wait to do some magic with my wise wand 3000. Well, you will have to wait till tomorrow because it's nearly bedtime. Oh, Bye, Holly. Bye, Ben. Blow out the candles. It might get a bit spitty when she blows the candles out. Don't tell her to blow them all out in one go. Remember to blow them all out in one go. <gasps> <sighs> Don't forget to make a wish. I want a pink unicorn. Strawberry? No. Pink unicorn. Da! Wow, a pink unicorn. <laughs> My wish came true. That's amazing. Uh, right, everyone. Home time. <laughs> Don't forget your party bags. Hello, Yasmin. Did you have a nice time? Yes. Lucy's dad did magic. He's awesome. What are you looking like that for? All right. Out you come. All of you. I thought I made it clear there were to be no real elves and fairies at the party. But as soon as my back is turned, you invite every elf and fairy in the world. <gasps> Where's Jake? He's missing. He must have fallen into a party bag. <sighs> All right, don't panic. Just wait here. Ooh, what's this? Yum! I love cake! Oh, I think Lucy lost one of her toys. Ah, there it is. Thanks, Lucy's dad. Your magic show was great. Yes, everyone said so. Oh, did they? This was my best party ever. I'm glad you had fun, Lucy. And no one really saw your, your little friends. So I suppose everything turned out all right. <laughs> Back to normal, eh? Yes, except for the unicorn. Oh, yes, the, the unicorn. I forgot about that. Don't worry, Dad. We can just keep it in the barn with the cows. <laughs> Hi, Holly. I've got a new toy. What is it? It's a telescope. You can see things that are really far away. Wow. Can I have a go? OK. I can't see anything. Try twisting it a bit. It still doesn't work. <laughs> Why are you laughing, Ben? It's a joke telescope. It gives you a black ring around your eye that makes you look really silly. Look. Oh, why did you do that? <laughs> Today is Elf Joke Day. What's Elf Joke Day? It's a special day when all the elves play jokes on each other. <laughs> that sounds fun. It is fun. <laughs> Would you like one of my chewy sweets? Yes, please. <laughs> that wasn't funny, Ben. <laughs> Sorry. Here, have this flower. No, thanks. I've had enough of your silly jokes. It's OK, Holly. It won't jump out or make your face dirty. Promise? I promise. <laughs> <laughs> That's my squirty water flower. It's not funny. <laughs> it is funny. Zip, zap, zop. Upside down, you silly elf. Time, Holly. Oh, hello, Ben. What are you doing upside down? Help! Help! Princess Holly, is this your doing? It was Ben's fault. He was playing jokes on me. Never use magic in anger. 
it can be very dangerous. Sorry, Nanny Plum. Holly, put Ben down. Sorry, Ben. Phew, that's better. Miss Holly, are you doing magic? <coughs> no, wise old elf, not me. <coughs> I think it's just the storm outside. It must be really close now. <laughs> hmm. There's something funny going on around here. Wise old elf, what do we do next? A good question, Holly. Next, we wind the toys up. Doesn't work. Don't worry. I'll just give it a little help. <coughs> <coughs> Nanny Plum, have you been doing magic? Just a teeny tiny little bit to help things along. You are a very naughty fairy. Sorry, wise old elf. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say no more about it. Now, Holly. Let's see what your owl can do. Oh, uh, it doesn't work at all. Hmm, maybe too much magic went into its making. I can fix it. I'm very good at mending things. Should do it. Hooray! Thank you, Ben. I did try to do it the elf way. Yes, Holly. I know you did. But it's not easy to make toys without using magic. It's easy for us because we're elves. <laughs> <laughs> your hobby horses on the breakfast table. Oh. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. The twins really like ponies at the moment. Hmm. They really want a pet. And ponies are lovely pets. So pretty and cuddly. And they've got long, swishy tails to brush. Daisy and Poppy would so love a pony. Pony! Pony! Goodness me, no! Ponies are ginormous! And Daisy and Poppy are tiny fairies. No pony. Maybe the princesses could have another sort of pet. Pet! 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 I can magic them up a harmless, fluffy little pet. Wait a minute. Pets need looking after. Who's going to do all the cleaning up? The twins can. We will. We promise. OK. But please make it a sensible pet, Nanny. Not a dragon or a, or a dinosaur. Of course, Your Majesty. <sighs> I've got a bad feeling about this. Don't worry, darling. Nanny Plum knows what she's doing. I've got a very bad feeling about this. Here we are, the magical fairy library. Now, let's find a book on pets. Hmm, a tiger. Tiger, tiger. No, too big. Oh, tiger. Hmm, a snake. Snakey, snakey. No, too wriggly. Oh, wriggly, snakey. An alligator. Alligator. No, too many teeth. Oh, alligator. Ah, here we go. The perfect little pet. A hamster. Hamster, hamster. <laughs> I wonder what pet Nanny has magicked up for Daisy and Poppy. As long as it's small, I don't care. 
Ahem. May I present the princess's new pet, Pippin. It's Father Christmas here. Oh, Mr. Christmas. We seem to be missing some toys. I can't find Box 571. Box 571? I need those toys before tonight. Or some children will not get their Christmas presents. Never fear, Mr. Christmas. We will get the box to you. I will deliver it personally. Box 571? It could be anywhere. We'll never find it. Is it this box, Dad? The one that says Box 571? What? Well done, Ben. You found it. To the elf plane. We leave immediately. Well, that was a nice holiday, while it lasted. Are you going back to the North Pole? Can we come? Can we, Dad? Please? Please, Miss Elf. I don't mind who comes, but we must leave straight away. Hooray! Brilliant! I'll just get my wand back from King Thistle and then... There's no time for that, Nanny. We need to get these toys to Father Christmas right away. Elf honour is at stake. Ready for takeoff, Captain. Everyone on board. Ben, it's snowing. Oh, wow! Snow! You see, my snow globe is never wrong. Hmm. What do all these buttons do? Don't touch anything, please, Nanny Plum. Wind the engine. Righty ho! Ready for takeoff. Up, up. Wow. There it is. It's stuck. One, two, three, pull. Oh, thanks, Ben. That's what I call a big baby tooth. What about the coin, Nanny? Here it is. Oh, no. What's wrong? Oh, the little girl's written us a letter. What a nuisance. I love getting letters. But the children always want a reply. Now we'll have to come back again. Can I read it? Dear Tooth Fairy, what is it like to live in Fairyland? Fairyland. That makes it sound like some silly make-believe place. Did she ask about elves? Um, no, Ben. Maybe there wasn't enough room on the paper. But she does say, love from Lucy. That's a lovely name. Shush. Remember, Princess Holly, we mustn't wake her. Nanny, what happens to the tooth now? We give it to the elves. They take care of the rest. This way. Hopefully, there'll be no one there. Then we can just leave our tooth and go. Good evening. Can I help you? Oh, hello. Tooth delivery. Have you filled in your tooth report? Yes. There appear to be some details missing. Where was the tooth found? Ugh, under the pillow. Under the pillow. Dear me, you haven't even put the little girl's name. We know that. Her name is Lucy. Lucy. And she's written us a letter. Ah, a letter. There'll have to be a reply before morning. Oh. I'll write it. Dear Lucy, um, it's very nice in the Little Kingdom. There are lots of fairies. And elves. OK, Ben. And there are lots of elves too. Love, Princess Holly. And Ben Elf. And Ben L. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Wow! What's that? It's a toy robot. Ooh! It's a bit broken. We could mend it with magic. 
Uh, no thanks, Strawberry. We'll fix it the elf way. Elves are very good at fixing things. And we're elves! <laughs> <laughs> It's just a toy robot. It'll do this. That's a bit boring. It isn't boring. That's what toy robots do. Let's switch it on. It doesn't do anything. Oh, maybe it needs batteries. No, it's clockwork. But there's no key. Our magic a key. Oh, Holly, I don't think we should use a magic key. Magic can be dangerous. I'm sure it will be OK. Whatever happens, it'll be fun. Mm, all right. <coughs> Shush, Gaston. <coughs> OK, let's see what happens. It's working! Master, what is your name? Ooh. Is that what it's supposed to do? I don't know. Uh, I'm Ben Elf. Ben Elf, you are my master. We thought robots went er, er, er. The pink dress or the blue dress? Mummy, I can't decide. The pink one looks nice on you, Holly. But what about me? Green or yellow or turquoise? Ben, what do you think? Um, maybe the pink one for you and the greeny blue one for your mum. Green, blue, yellow, purple? What's all this fuss about? King and Queen Marigold are coming to visit today, remember? Oh, yes. They are very fashionable and I don't want them to think we look scruffy. Who looks scruffy? You look scruffy. Do I? Yes, Daddy. Hmm. What do you think, Ben? Man to man. Do I look scruffy? Uh, maybe you could be a tiny bit smarter. That is why I have ordered the elf tailor to make you some new clothes. Hmm. And you must have a bath. OK. The elf tailor. That's just the wise old elf. I'll have you know I'm not just the wise old elf. I'm also a qualified tailor. Oh, I see. Carry on, then. I'm off to have a bath. But hurry up. Our guests will be here soon. Uh, King Thistle's new clothes, Your Majesty. Ooh! Lovely. But is this fashionable? This is a classic cut made from the finest woolen fabrics, Your Majesty. Ooh! Very nice. Uh, oh, please, don't prod it, Nanny Plum. It's a very delicate fabric which means you must not clean it with magic. Yes, yes. Thank you, Taylor. Bye. Goodbye. Can you see that speck of dirt there, Holly? I can't see anything, Mummy. Nanny Plum, can you see that speck of dirt? Where? There? No. There. <gasps> oh. Oh, dear. My new fairy tea set has arrived. Ooh! Ooh! It's so beautiful and it's so sparkly. It's also very delicate, Holly. That means it breaks easily, so you can look, but don't touch. Yes, Mummy. It is a beautiful teapot. Shall I give it a bit of a dust, Your Majesty? No, Nanny Plum. Even you mustn't touch it. Yes, Your Majesty. Good. Now, 
as it's such a lovely day, why don't we go for a nice walk? Can I stay here and look at the tea set instead? All right, Holly. But look and don't touch. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> Ooh. Hello, Nanny Plum. Hello, Ben. Can Holly come out to play? I'm afraid Princess Holly is very busy looking at a teapot. Perhaps if... Ben! I've got something to show you. <laughs> OK, Holly. <laughs> Look, Mummy's fairy tea set. Isn't it beautiful? Uh, I suppose so. No one is allowed to touch it. Not even Nanny. Why not? Because it's very delicate. Well, what can you do with it, then? Well... You can have tea parties with it, of course. Uh, but we're not supposed to. Just hold them, silly. It's not hard. Look at me. <gasps> How do you like your tea, Mr Elf? Weak or strong? <laughs> 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 Hello, Mr Christmas. Can I speak to the wise old elf? Yes, yes. I shall get him right away. Telephone call for the wise old elf. Please, Please report, report to reception, reception immediately. immediately. Hello, Princess Holly. Hello, wise old elf. It's Father Christmas. Oh, excuse me a moment. Hello? Hello, wise old elf. Will those dolls be ready in time for Christmas? Yes, Mr. Christmas. We'll definitely have the dolls ready today. And you will make sure they have a pretty red dress, won't you? Yes, she'll have a lovely red dress. Thank you. Goodbye. Is this the doll you're making for Father Christmas? Yes. We're making hundreds of them, and they have to be ready today. Can we see how you make them? Of course. This way, we'll be taking the train. Ooh. All aboard. First stop, level one, the computer room. Hold tight, everyone. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Level one, the computer room. <laughs> that was fun. Ooh, it made my tummy all funny. Good, wasn't it? And it'll be even better next time. What do you mean, next time? <laughs> You'll see. Follow me. This is where we decide what the toys will look like. Don't you just make it up as you go along? Oh, no, no, no. The toys are designed to the very last detail. Nothing is left to chance. Ho, ho, ho! Ah! Of course. You don't know who I am. I'm in disguise. You're Father Christmas. Oh, yes. Mr Christmas, would you like to test a cracker? Wow! That's loud. Yes. Nanny Plum is in charge of the bangs. Let's bang, please, Nanny. What? But the bang is the best bit. That's why we do the cracker-making underground. Let's try the paper hat. How do I look? <laughs> Very Christmassy. And we've got some good cracker jokes this year. What do you get if you cross a kangaroo and a sheep? A woolly jumper. <laughs> Daddy, that's awful. Cracker jokes are meant to be awful. That's why we get King Thistle to write them. <laughs> and the cracker toys. This year, we've made telephones to put in the crackers. A tiny telephone. Does it really work? No, it's just a lump of plastic. And down there, all the bits and bobs are put into the crackers by magic. Mr Elf has delivered loads of Christmas crackers to the shops already. Good. The big people pick them up and put them on the shelves. 
And they have no idea the crackers were made by elves and fairies. Jolly good work. And how are the Christmas trees? The pine elves have been growing them all year. Hello. We've come to see the Christmas trees. Ho, ho, ho. Hello, Father Christmas. Like the outfit, what fashion is it exactly? Uh, it's meant to be a disguise. So many lovely Christmas trees. Yes, pine elves are good at growing Christmas trees. And we're pine elves! <laughs> oh, well, this isn't a fish. It's a mirror. Can we keep it, Dad? Yes, it's from the bottom of the lake, so it can't belong to anyone. Cool. OK, well, it's, it's been nice chatting to you, um, little folk. <laughs> but I think it's time to go home. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Do you think the mirror is magic, Dad? I hope not. I've seen enough magic for one day. <laughs> Listen, somebody's crying. <laughs> it's a girl. <gasps> Hello. What are you doing in the lake? I live here. You live in the lake? Yes, I'm a mermaid. <laughs> my name is Oceana. Why were you crying? I've lost my mirror. That must be the mirror Lucy found. And where is this Lucy? She's a big girl. So, she'll probably be on her way to school. Bye, Lucy. Pick you up later. Bye, Dad. A mermaid's mirror must never be seen by big people. Don't worry. I'm sure Lucy won't show it to anyone. Look, everybody. I found a mirror. Ooh. Ooh. Lovely. That's perfect for our show and tell. Come up to the front, Lucy, and show the mirror to the whole class. Ah. My poor mirror. I'll never get it back because I can't walk on land. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll get your mirror back. Oh, thank you. Home time, children. Hi, Dad. Hi, Lucy. Good day. Lucy. Psst, Lucy. Ben, Holly, what are you doing here? We've come for the mirror. It belongs to a mermaid. A mermaid? Wow. Yes, and she needs her mirror back. Oh, OK. Please tell me this is just a game. Elves and fairies are one thing, but mermaids? Haven't you read about mermaids in books? Yes, but I've also read about dragons and witches, and they're not real either. Yes, yes they, they are. are. Wise old elf, there's something you have to see. Eh? What's that? Come with me. I'll show you. Is it much further? I'm freezing. We're here. Look. What on earth? Where are we? The very edge of the little kingdom. And the snow stops here. Snow? No snow. Snow? No snow. Snow? Yes, thank you, Mrs Elf. We get the idea. No snow. But what is causing this strange snow? It's magic. Magic. And I'll bet my beard that Nanny Palum has done it. Nanny Palum, whatever you're doing, stop it. What? The washing? No, the snow. It's not my fault. Oh, come on, Nanny. It's always your fault. No, it's normally my fault, but not today. Then who on earth is doing it? Maybe it's a supervillain. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Nanny Plum. Why is that ridiculous? Because supervillains don't exist. What about superheroes? They don't exist either. It's a lot of nonsense. Then what? What's that? It's a superhero symbol in the sky. Oh, let's find out where it's coming from. Now, when the people of the world need help, they'll know where to find the elf cave. Really? Will people really ask us for help? Well, no. It's just a game. No one is actually going to knock on the door. Huh? Hello? Is anyone there? That's my dad. 
Anyone home? Isn't this where Gaston lives? Maybe a superhero lives here too. That's the silliest thing I've heard in all my life. Hello, this is Elfman and Fairy Girl. We are superheroes. See, told you. Elfman? Who's Elfman? Can we come in? No, our secret identities have to remain a, a secret. Well, it can't be that far away. You were only gone for a second. No one will ever, ever find it. It's guarded by a ferocious beast. Ooh! School starting! <laughs> All right, acorn class, settle down. Lucy, could you please feed Fluffy the hamster? Yes, Miss Cookie. Oh, look what I found. It's the toy pirate chest from the fish tank. How on earth did it get in Fluffy's cage? Maybe a pirate put it there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just put it back, shall we? Guarded by a ferocious beast indeed. Fluffy the hamster! <laughs> there. Back where it belongs. Never mind, Captain Squid. I think that's the best hiding place for it anyway. But you all know where it is now. We won't tell anyone. You swear? Yes, on pirates' honour. But, Redbeard, you said pirates don't really have any honour and... Yes, yes. Thank you, Holly. We'll talk about this more later. But for now, put your hands on your hearts and say pirates' honour. Pirates, Pirates honour. All aboard! Let's be off before we're spotted. A flying ship. Yes, all the best pirates have one these days. Now, let's start the class. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Cookie, look! A flying pirate ship! It's, it's behind, behind you! Ha ha, yes, children. Now settle down, please. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. What are you doing here? Tell you later. Set sail for home. Little kingdom, here we come. Ha -ha! I think we got away with that. Aye, it were a great adventure. And that's what being elf pirates is all about. Having adventures. 